Welcome to Tactical Arbitrage. In this video, we're going to cover the various filters available in the Reverse Search Pages Advanced View. To enable the Advanced View, navigate to the Reverse Search Page. At the top of the page, make sure the toggle is set to Advanced View. Once moved to Advanced View, proceed to the bottom section of the page to access the filters. In the Filters section, you'll find subsections that, when expanded, reveal individual filters. Each filter includes a tooltip explaining its purpose. Generally, the filters will determine which products get added from your scans. However, there are a few exceptions. The filters found in the Source Price Adjustments and Cost and Fees subsections do not determine which products get added from the scan. Instead, they are used exclusively in the Gross Profit and ROI calculations. For example, the State Sales Tax filter. If we'd input the value 12 over here, 12% 12 of the prices of the products will be generated as the state sales tax value, which will be counted towards the gross profit and ROI calculation. The same with store price reductions. Right next to the store price reductions fields, there is a toggle and the as per set discounts button. If we slide the toggle to the left, we'll be able to click on as per set discounts. This will display a pop-up in which you can manually set the discount, cashback, gift card, or tax value for every store or domain. You can upload a spreadsheet of discounts by clicking here, and you can also download a template for the spreadsheet from here. To ensure any changes are saved, make sure to click Save. Please note, if you'd like to use the settings within the As Per Set Discounts pop-up, you will need to have the toggle set with the white circle on the left. Now. Under Cost and Fees, you can input various costs to prep and or ship. For example, if you have a relationship with a prep and ship center, you can input the cost to prep per standard or oversized product here, and those costs will also contribute towards the gross profit and ROI calculation. The same goes for the cost to create a bundle, cost to ship to Amazon, or cost to ship by delivery service here. The filters in the Remove, Source Titles, and Profit and ROI sections directly impact which products are added from your scans. For example, if the Remove Hazmat Products filter is enabled, the scan will exclude any hazmat products. Such functionality is more or less uniform amongst the filters located within the Remove section, however, there are a few things that I'd like to highlight. The Rank filter lets you exclude products above a certain sales rank on Amazon. For example, if you set it to 200,000, Products with a rank higher than 200,000 will be excluded from your scan. Additionally, by toggling the option next to As Per Settings, you can click on As Per Settings to open a pop-up. This pop-up allows you to manually set a sales rank filter value for each Amazon category. For example, if you set 200,000 for the electronics category, the scan will exclude products with a sales rank higher than 200,000 from the electronics category. As you may notice, the value that we just input is in black, overriding the gray value. The gray value will be set by default according to the percentage set up here. If we change this 1% to 2%, the gray values will change. The gray values will be applied if not overwritten with any other values. If we keep the toggle here right next to As Per Settings in a way that we'd be able to click on As Per Settings. Next up, I also want to highlight the Remove if Product Brand has IP Complaint filter found in the Remove section. This filter is exclusively available with the Pro Subscription Plan. If you have any subscription plan other than Pro, you will not have access to this filter. The filters located under the source titles are more or less self-explanatory, but we can split the section into two based on how we input the filters. For Remove Products if Source Title Contains, you will need to input in the word or phrase, then press the comma button on your keyboard to add in the other word or phrase. To delete, simply click the X button or press backspace twice. Remove products if source title does not contain filters. Simply input in the word or phrase here, no extra steps needed. The filters located under the gross profit and ROI sections are again quite self-explanatory. Simply input the values in like so on which filter that you'd like to set. The For Profit and ROI Use filter allows you to either use the actual buy box price or the average buy box price of 30 or 90 days. The filters located within the other filters sections are quite different from the rest of the filters mentioned previously. Instead of filtering products out, the options slash filters available here will allow you to add in products that would normally be skipped from the scan. For example, 
If we'd enabled the also show no match found results filter, the scan will also pull in no match found results which would normally be skipped by the scan by default. And that is an overview of the filters available within the reverse search page. If you're looking for more sourcing tips and tricks, feel free to join our customer coaching class. To register, click the free coaching classes prompt here. Check the available schedule and simply fill out your details to secure your spot. Don't hesitate to contact us at support at tacticalarbitrage.com if you have any questions.